Firefighters and their supporters are in Tallahassee today for the unveiling of the new fallen Florida firefighter memorial. The memorial is in honor of the 197 firefighters who died in the line of duty. But this memorial is not the only point of focus for this group in Tallahassee. A few are also meeting with the lobbying group Florida Professional Firefighters to talk about the future of the Florida Firefighter Cancer Bill. So we have been covering this bill extensively for the past week. 10 News reporter Madison Allworth spoke to the president of the Florida Professional Firefighters today about how they are gearing up for this fight. For the fourth time in as many years, there is a bill in the Florida House and Senate looking to cover firefighters who develop one of 21 different cancers. It has failed to reach the floor each year, and despite having over 60 co-sponsors in the House, this year looks no different. Because it did not get heard in that subs in that first substance committee, under their rules, it's pretty much dead. Which puts the bill in a tough position in the Senate. The Senate may not spend a lot of time on a bill that is dead in the House. After repeated requests for comment, 10 News received the following statement from Speaker of the House, Jose Oliva, who decides which bills are heard on the House floor, saying in part, we take a backseat to no one in our appreciation for our firefighters and police. However, this is an issue best dealt with at the county level as each department faces varying levels of danger and exposure, and counties are best equipped to tailor benefits to need within available resources. The response Channel 10 received was the first time Florida professional firefighters say they've heard anything from the speaker regarding this bill. We have uh, told him we would love to talk to him about his concerns and see if we could find some compromise. That was in early February. We've reached out several times to confirm, can we get a meeting? We're, we're, we were, are willing to meet any time uh, and have not been uh, granted a meeting or not even heard anything back for that matter. Now, the group is more frustrated than ever. The political process is flawed here. The democratic process is not working if bills do not get a hearing um, and continue on to the floor where each one of the representatives get their say. So much so, they may decide to go a completely different route. Obviously, uh, a ballot initiative is, is an option. We have the ability to do that. Pursuing a referendum is not necessarily easier. There are three key steps. First, the initiative sponsors have to get enough signatures. They need the equivalent of 8% of the amount of voters who went to the polls in the last presidential election. That would be just over 766,000 signatures. And those can't all be from the same part of the state. There need to be Floridians who sign the ballot initiative from more than half of the congressional districts. And third, once organizers have collected 10% of the signatures, the Attorney General can petition the Supreme Court and check that the way the referendum is written complies with the state constitution. Something that we're going to continue to keep our eyes on following this legislation and this fight.